Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I have another great tutorial video on Moomoo in the application, especially the mobile application that will help you to be a better Moomoo trader. My name is Martin. Welcome to the channel. I do run a YouTube channel by the name of Stock Martin, so be sure to check that out. But before we get started, I did just want to tell you that we do and will be using the Moomoo application. So if you can turn it on right now, once you get the application up and running, on the very bottom of that application is an icon. It is global markets. If you can click on that market tab, that will give you a very good information about the stock market and it can give you an enormous amount of tools that you can use on the Moomoo platform, especially that mobile platform. But on this platform, I did want to talk about and make this video on how to set up a stock screener uh, that will give you a very good watch list that can actually filter out so many information and so many stocks to get you some very good stock deals. So first of all, what you need to do is, like I said, open that Moomoo app, click on the Markets tab. Once you're in the Markets tab, again, plethora, a lot of information on this. First of all, let's look on one of the specific ones, clicking on the heat map. The heat map will show you in the stock market currently how is the stock market. It is a snapshot picture of the global stock market, especially in the U.S., to see how all the sectors are doing. Using this, you can see what is popping, what is hot. As you can see in this example, the automotive industry is having a great day today and the stock is up globally in these in this sector in the automotive sector by 1.17% up you can see everything mostly is in the red so i will be using the automotive index and the automotive sector as an example to show you how you can set up a stock screener so the first step to create a stock screener is to click on the stock screener in the markets tab Next, you will click on a create new strategy by hitting the plus sign. This will create the choice indicators. There's so many variety of choice indicators, and I would urge you to go through each and every one of them. But just using the example of the automotive industry in the United States, we will select the US market. We will select on sectors for the industry. Next, scroll down to the auto manufacturers and hit done at the very top. You notice that the check results on the very bottom is about 34. If you click on that, it will show you all the 34 auto manufacturers that are traded on the US market. You can see it by the price and the change in price. Now, if you do go back and take a look at this, you can go through the descriptive and you can actually put in here as the price. Let's say you don't wanna pay more than about $45 in price. You can put a limit of a price. Let's actually put $45 as the highest price. Next, let's go down to evaluations. We can scroll down to evaluations and look at these as market cap. There's so many other variety of valuations, but let's just look at companies that are going from 10 billion to 100 billion. Now notice our results went down from 34 to now 31. Whenever I did set that limit of the price of $45, now let's see what happens whenever I do click on the 10 billion to 100 billion. This gives it down even more. The results now are at 11. If we look at this, we will see the price of the stocks, the change in price, and the market cap. We can actually click on the market cap and this will order the stocks in a decreasing order with Ford Motor Company being the largest and going down, as you can see, down in value of the market capitalization with Polestar being one of the only ones at the end at 21 billion. Now, if we go back, we can set even more parameters. And again, I urge you to go through each and every one of these, but you can look at shareholders. The technical analysis are very nice in this. You can look at the RSIs, the Bollinger Index, etc. You can look at how much growth profitability the company has even going down to feature indicators. Now notice on the feature indicators at the very bottom, you do have analyst ratings. If we click on outperforming the market, you can actually see that from those 11 results, we did go down now to five. If we click on those five, you can see that these are the top five companies 
in the United States that are below $45 that have a valuation between uh, 10 billion to 100 billion. In addition to this, you do see the ratings from the analysts as outperforming the, uh, the stock market. Now, lastly, we can save the watch list by hitting save on the top right. When we save this, we can name it anything we want. In this case, we'll save it as, let's say, EV watch list. Next, hit save. Now, if you go back and look at the screening stocks, you will have this listed as one of your top watch lists. By clicking on the three dots, you can actually edit, rename, and delete that watch list. But this is just an example on how you can utilize and use this tool to your advantage to be one of the best Moomoo traders out there using the tools for this Moomoo application. I use it all the time to look at different sectors, different indices, different technical analysis to get the best watch list available. But I hope that you did like this tutorial on how to create a stock screener. And I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up to keep me alive and to make more videos like this for you. But thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to get your free stocks using my links down below. But most importantly, thank you for watching. And I hope that you become a good Moomoo trading master. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.